kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Doki Joki Literature Club. Now, guys, uh, my wife had informed me that there was something that I needed to do before I could continue. See, she told me to save the character files and the game files, because apparently, this game will change the game files in it. So, I saved the originals and did this. So, now I'm going to have to keep paying attention. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm going to show you uh, that, uh, that right here. That has my game files. So here we go. And oh, okay, let me bring this over here. And every once in a while, guys, I will show you uh, this over here. So uh, hold on, I gotta. My computer glitches sometimes, and I'm gonna show you those every so often just to check on them. So I'll keep an eye on them, and um, and that way we can uh, keep track of them as we play. So hold on, we're gonna load the game where we were. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna work on trying to get... Hmm... How about... Wonderful. Okay. Hmm... I want to just pick favorite words here, so... Sensation. Oh... Pleasure. Oh... <laughs> Let's see, uh... Uncontrollable. Climax! I'm getting really sexual words again. Graveyard tenacious. Um... Unrestraint. Um, kawaii is one of the words. Um, school imagination. Uh, masquerade. Uh, there, she likes the more fancy words. She likes simple words, and she just likes anything that talks about happiness. That's what I've noticed. Yes, that's right. Okay, um, after image. Um, uh, swimsuit happiness. Unrequaint. Oh, okay, that's hers. Um, meager? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, intellectual. Um, we're almost done. Come on. Um, and, mm, precious. Um, okay. Ambient? Uh, disarray. Um, uh, I'm looking at the game files again, so nothing's changed. So, I'm gonna look at the. Nothing's changed about. The name, the character files, or anything, so... Um... Variants? Uh... Disoriented? Uh... Adventure? Okay, okay, that works. Mm. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. I'm entering a I'm entering the club... Club room, as usual scene greets me. Hi, Powdered Milk! Also, by the way, guys, they said something about the name about my name that I put in would change somehow. They said that, they said, that my wife said that somehow. I'm not sure. She's been watching Jack Septicai play it, and I can't watch any of those videos because I'm playing it. So, I'm just basically going at this blind. I'm just giving hints. Hi, Powder Milk. Hi, yo, Sorori. Looks like you're go, I mean, you're in a good mood today. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm just, I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But, I guess that's always a simple thing with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Can you come to me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh, why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Sorori nervously retrieves a coin purse. She fumbles with the la action and open, gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill into the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> okay, she was gonna bum off me. That's what was gonna happen? She was gonna bum off me? Okay. I knew it. I could see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry, you're not hungry, and and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you planned on conveniently forgetting that you spent all your money, so you know that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing: you're always hungry. So and so that only leaves you the one option. Ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. 
Yuri, Yuri, uh, Yuri, I, I like how her name just says lesbian hentai right there. Um, see, so Yuri, uh, suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face, face is in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Powder Monk to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved in... Oh, like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling your mischievous little stunt like that, you're suffering to this far enough retribution. Uh, did I just... I didn't mean that I got too abs absorbed in my into my book. Uh, <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's on a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did some ba add something bad, and now I, I have to accept at the re <clears throat> revolution. I just realized I lost myself there. Uh, re retribution. That! Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Hehehe! <laughs> don't let you... Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys that she is bringing me into the club before she even told me. But, but you wouldn't have come if you weren't here for the cupcakes. So if you to trick Natsuki into making, so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> pa! Yeah! I don't know where something smacks Sayori in the face and trembles in the desk. Ow! What was? Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it was a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my retribution? Re uh, retribution. Actually, that's almost that, that almost worked. <laughs> okay, Natsuki, I'm gonna give you props for that one. That was, was pretty funny. <laughs> I was just gonna I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. That was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Natsuki! That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Suyuki hugs the cookie. So you're, jeez, let just eat it. So Yuri ra uh, rapidly tears open the wrapper and then takes a big bite. So so good. Mm. Suyuri so suddenly clamps her, her hands over her mouth. I ripped my tongue. <laughs> I bit my tongue. <laughs> you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars are, are can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, but why don't why don't you think why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still I'm really happy for uh, that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sorry get, gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Ugh, jeez. I get it, I get it. You really need to stop being such a... Uh, what's the word? I forgot the fucking names, but I don't really care. It's been a while. But it's been a while. I've been doing other stuff. Cookie still ha Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Mmm. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica is in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica, anyway? Good question. Have you anything heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Um... That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just ha had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh, you don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She probably had more does... She is probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me! <laughs> Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super li... I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh... Monica closed the club door, her boyfriend closed the club <clears throat> Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. 
You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh... Well, my last period today has study was study hall. To be honest, I'm kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. Why would you... You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it, since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't, really. I'm kind of just started recently. I'm always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. Please, play something for, Mo for us, since you're making us all write poetry for no fucking reason. Although I don't mind writing poetry, but this is not really writing poetry. Honestly, I would have wrote something. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool! I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Powdered Milk. Monica sweetly, uh, uh, smiles sweetly. Why is it that she always does that fucking stance? It's like she's trying to play with my mind. Uh, I didn't mean to pressure you or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I really love the chance to share what once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave e out of Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining at her, co complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back at her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Hey, Yuri! Hey? Huh? I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Uh, if that's the case... Why don't you go ahead and get started? I have a feeling that this game is purposely putting me towards her. Like, I'm not doing this intentionally. Usually, dating sims would have you a choice. Give you a choice to go between each individual character for particular reasons. And I think because of my poem choices, it's leading me towards different char leading me towards the character it strongly portrays. So that's my my assumption. Hmm. I'm gonna look at this. I don't think anything's changed on the thing. I'm gonna look at the character thing. Hmm. Monica, Natsuki, Sayori, Yuri. Everything's still the same. Uh, DDLC, contents. Uh, I'm leaking through all the files. Um, nothing has really changed. I'm just still looking at it. Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all! Thank you very much. There's one thing I like to make that can make me read. Reading time more and better is a nice cup of tea. That reminds me of this thing we have in the army. It's a training video. It's called, uh, um, Simple as Tea. You might look it up. It's about consent, basically. Um, not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her own way the close. Uh, I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf and, and the kind of which, uh, with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and she fetches the electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in the teacher's desk and then I'll go eat, get some water. She walks past me and gets the kettle down for the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contracts her speaking mannerisms. Especially when she ha especially because of those long legs, Yuri appears elegant and meth- meth- I can't fucking read, can I? Methical. I'm gonna just say it like that. Okay, may I uh, ha have some the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Ah, I might be as well walk with you. Uh, yeah. Why not? Ah, uh, you're blushing again. Every time I'm around, and I have a weird feeling you're gonna kill me. Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm. Where are the two are you off to? Uh, we're just Yuri. I was just going to make some tea, so. I suddenly realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling some water in the pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just going to, I was just a bit curious. It's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please don't mind, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to tell... Oh, 
Why don't you tell me something there's something wrong with helping involve Power Milk in the club activities? <laughs> uh, what? Did she seriously just tell her off like that? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Monica, where's your fucking backbone? Don't let that bitch talk to you like that. <laughs> then let's go, Powder Milk. She's reminding me very much like Fluttershy. I'm sorry, that's just like how it is to me. I'm just gonna pull Fluttershy out for e emphasis. I'm just gonna pull my Fluttershy out, okay? Just for emphasis. Okay, we're just put you right here. You know, for emphasis. Uh, Yuri quickly ex exited the room and I follow. I don't know what's going on, and once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say some- how could I say something like that? Yuri? I just- something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but- I'm also not uh, right for Monica to judge people like that. Monica is a judgmental person, and the music just changed. Powdered milk? How come you, even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing that you do is bad uh, as you make it seem in your head. Nothing. Nobody's perfect. We, ha we have emotions. We can't always hide them anyway. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns the light, light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, that was very poetic. I'll be honest, right there. N no, wouldn't you hate, hate me if something was terrible? If something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hide. So you can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would that do that? Friend, you say? Um, uh, Yuri lifts her head. Powdered milk. I really like being. Really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. Did you seriously put her in the friend zone? Did you put her in the friend zone? But I'm doing my best to make it help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. And once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Powder milk, do you like oolong tea? I think I've heard that name before, but I think my wife talked about it. Uh, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle f to 200 degrees. Fun fact, ladies, if you ever talk to a guy, we can't decide what we want either. Sometimes. I know that sounded sexist as shit, but that's how it is. Nobody can decide what they fucking want. That's why guys ask women what they want, but they can't decide, and that women ask us, and we don't know. Ugh. Talking some real shit. I'm going off topic. Now it's time to go get get the teapot. You really do this. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even I'm not the not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only you'll only be even more impressed. You'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yep. Yuri etches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even uh. Starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I wasn't letting it show. I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I should try expressing myself a little bit more. And it turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. They're always worrying about me, powdered milk. They're really pushing this. They were really pushing the my character and her together because of the way I did the poetry. I just did things what felt right to me. It's a, it's very endearing. Well, sort of like that. I also kind of pushed towards her too because, in, ca in all fairness, she is a character I can relate to. That's Yuri wasn't the kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up, up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Powder milk, I have a particular. I have another request. Do you mind if we sit in the on the floor today? Yeah, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just ha have back pain fairly regularly, so oh, I do my best to manage it. The reason for that is because of your breast. 
I'm not trying to be a perv. It's just a fact. My wife tells me all the time because her back hurts because er, sometimes her back hurts because of her breast. That's the thing. Women have that problem. Is that so? Wonder why that is. It's mostly likely because of my, uh, my my your posture, right? Always hunch over like you're that that you, while you're reading. Yes. You see, she avoided the term breast or boobs. I have a terrible reading posture. You <laughs> see, she's trying to cover it up. So that's why we shouldn't sit on the floor. We should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get my book. I'll retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. That, this bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden in Siori's candy, from Candy Radar. I take it since I'll go oh well with the tea. Yuri and I, I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. A as if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one, one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. <laughs> okay, I'm being weird. I can't, can't see. I can't see too well. Huh? Slides closer until her shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was old. Always kind of cute, but w when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more like I can more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand. That's not ho holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even more harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her ha ha has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put my teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can ha have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well... If I, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the paper, pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even th think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Eh? Are you sure? Of course. And we're back to a club close scene again. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any har harder time reading from it. But as, I, as a result, my le her left arm is actually pressing on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was uncontrollably natural. That means I can't, that means I can't stop here. Apparently, I place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Ah, there it is! Right there! <laughs> there it is! I might as well leave my mouth on for this. Hold on, uh, I'm gonna look at my game files real quick. Yuri's still fine. Huh, I've noticed that each one has a different level of, um, gigabytes in them. That Monica has the most. I guess it's because of, uh, more dialogue options. Uh, eh, <laughs> eh. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me and I just... And she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, powder milk? So sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well, you were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, not really in the kind of context, but... Yeah, that's what well it was. Yeah. The two nervous against each other! Fucking kiss! Then, you don't mind if... To stop... You don't need to stop or anything. I, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Is anybody watching this? That's my question. Are the other girls in the room watching this? Just sitting there like, yes, yes, kiss. That's what they're, uh, cause that tends to happen. Guys, my relationship, how mine started was basically we were shipped. The whole time. I'm not joking, like everybody, every one of our friends shipped us. You can ask them if you ever meet them, and some of you might know them. But, here's this. Our friend shipped us, and we end up together. Thing is, I had a crush on my wife long before. She rejected me for about six months before she finally said yes to a date. And after that, we worked together. And here we are, we're married today. Three years later. <laughs> uh, 
But things like that happen. People will be weird and start shipping other people. Kind of like the same thing with people will ship YouTubers. I'm probably dreading the one day that people will start shipping me with mods for some reason. Oh god, I can already dread the fanfiction. Eh, that's if I ever get that far on YouTube. Now stop the babbling! Back to this, Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can't tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time Yuri's eyes met mine. How did I even come to this? Like before, Yuri parts her lips, and it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I don't feel her hot breath of my fingers. Okay, everyone! What? Wait, wait, what just happened? What just happened? It just caught it! I'm checking my shit right now. I'm checking my shit. Nothing's changed. Nothing has fucking changed. What is going on? Like, it just cut it off completely. Okay, obviously it's part of the game. Uh huh. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Power Milk, you come um, help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get a feeling this is something either... Neither of us have the courage to bring up. So we're gonna go to Yuri. We're gonna go to Yuri this time. First. Let's see what you've written today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprise suppression on her face. Do you like it? Powdered milk. This is what might be even better than yesterday's. How do you even pick up on this like so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explain. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine, take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being uh, pr appreciated like this, I guess. I probably sound really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really, I don't believe it. I really only write them for myself. And besides, people w would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Everyone, and even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, she probably doesn't have friends. That's kind of dark, to be honest, but... Some people just don't have friends. For the longest time, I didn't have friends till high school. Well, real friends, anyway. Anyway, do you want me to want to share your poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If that's if that's if it's with you. Okay, we're gonna try to read this as best I can. The raccoon. The raccoon. It happens that the de at a night while I was slicing bread with a quick, with a quick guilty snack, I actually was caught by the scuttling of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed the strange tendencies of my of an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My scrumptious, well aware of a of the con of the conscience. Is there a way to make this readable? Well aware of the rac that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. I the exciting beauty of my cutting knife was was the. Symptoms, my bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon. Mm, what? The noon in increments is a phrase reflected that much more light off the cutting knife. The very same light is glistening my eyes. The raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Perhaps I merely projected my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon was taken taken to following me. You could say that you've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so the bread is always handy. Every time I bandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me excitement. A rush of blood. Clantic proving conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Hold on, guys. So, okay, okay, I had a pause for a minute. My wife walked in and we were talking about this poem. And she gave me an assumption 
that she told me that the raccoon in the poem represents emotion and the bread represents feeding that emotion. But she won't tell me what the emotion is. I can't decipher it. It could be anything. And I really don't know. Is it... Um... This is a very happy poem. But this could be a psychotic character, so I don't know. It sounded happy! Um... There's a little more daring with the, uh... This one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's not a lot more... It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know... I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what the poem's about. That's right. It's a bit closer to prefer... Er, to my writing style. Usually... Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it fate ace value, I can't even figure out what's it's supposed to mean. Well... I think it's something that a bit different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express my way of feelings and adult old in more usual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? B because they're embarrassing. Embarrassing? Oh, my game somehow just lagged a little bit. I just noticed. Something change? I'm gonna take lags as like a meaning there's something changing in the game files, so... <sighs> that's embarrassing. And people will become... Would make... F and, pe ah! and people would make fun of me. Sorry guys, I can't read today. And don't you ha have anything like that? Don't you have anything like that, powdered milk? Well... Yeah, I guess so. I do. I, I feel like everyone ha has something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities, even if it's difficult sometimes and, som and sometimes make us uncomfortable. After all, I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness. I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, and I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things, like what? Writing? Listening? There really aren't many people like you, Powdered Milk. That's, exa that's ex exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I'd feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I'd, I look forward to it. I just... I'm just... Uh, it's just a really nice feeling. And you're... <clears throat> and you're too thank for that. It's... It's nothing really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. Just for a moment her timidness seems to disappear. Now let's go on to the others. Um... Let's see Yuri. Hmm. Oh! I like this one, powdered milk. This one's a nice feeling in it. Ah, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Oh crap. Sorry guys, my fucking thing always does that. Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out the poems you're are good if poems are good or bad. So she's very neutral on things, but that's why I just go oh, oh, with my heart by my heart. If it makes me feel things then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure if there's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess it, uh, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Uh, why don't you uh, at least try giving it some thought? Uh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to th think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll keep trying and, and keep I'll keep it in mind. You look deeply confused. But yes, my character is right. Some people really need to be selfish every so often. I tell my wife that all the time. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like... Oh, well, I also tell Boz that, too. Uh, I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes I like a, a both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like ha happy the most. But sometimes when I have a little ra in, in cloud in your head, a sad poem can help you give you the rain cloud a little hug. And... And make a nice happy rainbow. Siri, that's unexpectedly poetic. Huh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Powder Milk. I should go write that down, then. 
You can read my poem now, okay? Okay, this one's more easy to read. Bottles. I puff up a, my scab like a lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place I like to keep my dreams. A little ball of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside my thumb and or, or finger and pluck it out. It's warm and tingly. And there's no time to waste. I put it in the bottle to keep it safe. Keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all my, the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle all in a row. My collection makes makes a lot of friends. Each bottle is to our light to make amends. Sometimes my friends, friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Aims, friends after friends, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. A little exploring the dark cave and discovering the secret hidings in the nook and grannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off the bottle caps. I don't feel like a uh, time elapsed. I have shoved you. There's more. My friends lo look like they have my locked front door. Look through my locked front door. Finally all done. I open it up and come. Um, and come in my friends. If they come in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frankly pull all of them from the shelf, one after another, holding out each and every friend. Each and every bottle. The very f But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile bet between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards over and over. They are supposed to be my friends. My friends, they aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. This poem's kind of dark. It like, it starts happy, but then it just starts getting darker and darker. It's very... Ugh. Holy crap. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole, whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost, like, kind of creepy. Creepy? Yeah, it's very fucking creepy! Well, not exactly. Well, maybe because I'm used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I think it's too hard to... I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, and so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I, I feel like... I was meant to express myself this this way. This kind of helps me understand why I my, my own feelings are a bit, a little bit easier, a little bit better. Writing is like magic. <gasps> Writing is magic. You've gotten pretty uh, passionate about out this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. R writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sarah always had a bit of a getting obsessed with something. But before dropping it more than a leak later, I wonder if this one's the this this uh, I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be it, it, hard for me to be pessimistic. Sorry guys, I can't English right. So we got Natsuki and Monica. We're gonna do Natsuki next. Hmm. Hmm. I like that last one better. Huh? Really? Well, yeah, I can tell you more a little bit more daring in this one, but you're really good, not good enough for that yet. I feel oh, flat. That may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring this one all out. I mean, I'm always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I hate it when people try to sound fancy or or uh, add more meaning just by using annoying and complicated language. Just make it simple, cute, and to the point. Jerry's head is over the heels of all cryptic nonsense, but I see right through uh, that BS. Ha ha, ha! Make your make your reader look so hard, and all, all the deep meanings is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their own opinion. My opinion is the best opinion. I'm sure I uh, figured that out already. Of course, she's one of those people. Uh. Anyway, here's my poem. Maybe, maybe you'll uh, learn something. Oh, this one's a little bit more wordy. Army like spiders. You know what I I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. I, icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I don't... I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my, my favorite love song. Every time I sang the co she sang the chorus, my heart would pound. To that rhythm of the words. And she, But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. 
I try I'm not to let go of her touch. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. She always talks to people. She probably oh sorry. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she ha has her other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she do doesn't hurt anyone. It it's gross. She's gross. The world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. That's a bit mean. And it also seems childish. To be honest, I know it's straightforward and to the point, easy to understand. It's just basically saying she won't be friends with somebody who likes spiders. And it's like speaking like a kindergartner. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday was way too short. I, I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think of it was the best thing I could do. No, of course not. Anything is the message is pretty straightforward in its poem. I don't ha have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people re realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an as an ignorant jerk. Do you, uh, know people like that? Of course, it's about uh, how I, I everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter, it's... It could be, uh... It could be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby and guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure. What is my guilty pleasure? Well, anything majorly fucked up, basically. I like fucked up things. I don't know why. I like fucked up memes. That's just my thing. Uh, sometimes that I'm afraid that if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. Personally, for spiders, I don't mind spiders. I think spi baby spiders, in particular, are adorable if you look at them. You ever seen a baby tarantula? Maybe I should pop one on the screen. I don't know. Um, think that you're afraid of people to find out and make fun of you or something. Uh, think Or think you less of you. But that just makes uh, people stupid. Who cares if, some, if someone like, likes as... <clears throat> Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it, it makes me, them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Kind of like Siori. Uh, that's funny. Yuri wrote something similar today. Says, huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobbies of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That's people should make each other feel in insecure because of those things. Really? Well, I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I didn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there, there's something wrong with that. Uh... It's not like I would judge her or anything. Oh, seriously, you're really talking like that again. That, um... Not the Sunandre, uh... Sunandre, uh... What is it, uh... Uh, Datare? Or is it Dundere? I don't remember. Oh, what's one of those two? Sun... Um... Sunandre is, uh... Uh... Trouble... Fi Tsuki has trouble finding words. I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But I a, 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 But the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in, in, in your poem. That's not... It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing, use, uh, writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. And I would like, <clears throat> I want to make people think, not, not just feel. Remember that. I want to write a good, good one for tomorrow too. So look forward to it. You know, Natsuki, I like you. I like you as a character because you're not just you know straightforward. You talk real shit. You talk real shit. Okay, Monica. Hi again, Powder Milk. Okay, time to deal with your creepy one. But seriously, when I stare into your eyes, they creep me the fuck out like a lot. Hold on, I want to see what this does. I want to see- Sorry, I just want to see what this does. Just her eyes just creep me out. So, ho that's all I'm going to say right now. So, erase. And... Sorry, I had to do that right now. Hi, hi again, Powdered Milk. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll th I'll take that. As long as it's not- As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. I want to share what I wrote for you today. Sure, here you go. 
I gave my poem to Monica. All right. That's a good one. I feel like you're more getting more comfortable with your style. But the imagery is better than the last one I read. I'm wondering if you have been finding inspiration in Yuri's uh, writing style. Hmm. I guess so. I can't deny she's really, she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think it's her poems are, are, are the most. Romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's really a totally different person than she keeps up on a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she talks about literature, it's like her light turns on inside her head. Hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in her, her head and her hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish that she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, at, you must be pretty into her. Uh, okay, of course, you'd be fucking with me! I knew you'd be fucking with me! Uh, you completely misunderstood. Uh, calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she already got out of boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Uh, well, I know. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, I want to read my poem. You want to read my poem now? I like the way uh, this one turned out. I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless company of meaningless noise. The noise won't... It won't stop the violent, grating, waveform, speaking, screeching, piercing, the spine consumed tainted. Like playing a chalkboard or, or a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a, pizza, on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. What? What the fuck was that supposed to mean? Hmm. It's even more abstract than the last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of... The thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I've never seen poems like written like that before! It creeped me the fuck out! I kinda like the playing with the hang on my space I kinda like the play like playing with the space of my paper. Choosing where or how I space the words has totally changed the mood of the poem. It's like almost like magic. The way I write the lines is almost sure it makes me feel like they're trying to speak o over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what the poem, uh, what the poem is about, is the isn't the right question. Po a poem can be abstract and a physical expression of feeling, or a conversation with the re the reader. So put it in the way, a hey, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself fa facing a difficult decision. When it happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind, or when something unsuspected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about outwriting? What am I even talking about? Okay, I'm gonna save just in case. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that right now and just return. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Didn't even fucking change that. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have the something extra planned today. If some. If so, if everyone could come sit in the front of the room, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good, it's just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's concern of mine as well. I don't really do no deal with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori so has just been wor working on posters, and I'm I'll design some pamphlets we can uh, give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're exactly we're going to do for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're go going to be performing. Performing? P uh, Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But its cool part is we're going to let everyone else come up and recite poems too. So you're already putting it all, all, on, the po it all on the posters and in case everyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> so you're already, who's going to be coloring the po posters holds up, up for us to see? Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, didn't really start putting those posters up, 
Er's up, did you? Oh, uh, I did. Do you really think that's a bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to perform on front of the group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Siori t uh, shakes her he head in fear. Guys! No, Siori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until oh, just a couple days ago. It's, it's a lot to ask of them to recite their poems out loud for a whole, whole room full of people. I guess I'm kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. Uh, but, I still think we should give it our best. We're only ones re responsible for the fate of this club. And it starts the event of each put, uh, <clears throat> put on our, our good performance. Then I will inspire others to do the same. And more people who perform will better be able to show everyone that the, what literature is about. Yeah, it's about uh, expressing our feelings, being intimate with ourself, yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right! And then if those reasons that are all, the, all in this club today, don't you want to share or, or that with others? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if we all take Hakes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know we you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. So Yuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Yuri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. At least we can do is to help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get o over with it. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri de de <clears throat> Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expecting faces. Uh, I guess I don't have really have a choice. Uh -huh. That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be a death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But, oh, anyway, let's move to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting in, in them in front of each other. No, 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 no way. Monica, this is, this is too sudden, sudden. Well, if we can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start uh, to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I do go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips her notebook and specific, <clears throat> specific poem she has in mind of herself. She stands behind the podium. This poem is The Way of the Fly. Mm -hmm. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, she her reflection is pristine. She knows exactly what applying emotion each line, and she recites, beginning the words to life. This is coming. This is something she's done before. It is simply a, na uh, a nature. I glance around me, and everyone ha has their eyes on Monica. Yuri is, looks amazed. Yuri's intense expression on her face I don't understand. And finally, Monica finishes her reaction. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was a good. That was so good, Monica. Uh -huh, thank you, you very much. I'll just ha hoping to set the good example. Are you ready in to go next, Yuri? I'll go next. What? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches her sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over the podium. This poem is called... And she glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of the Crimson Eye. Uh, Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment, she practically refuses to do this. Why is she suddenly putting so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like it happens when Yuri gets uh, gets abs absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform to a sharp syllables of fierce and confident, uh, fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and uh, structures that she indicates <clears throat> with perfect uh, timing. This must be a rare glimpse into her whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. 
Yuri steps back in reality and glances around her as she, she's bewildered even herself. I, it's up to me to save the situation. I start, I'm the first to start appalling. Everyone joins in afterwards and we gave Yuri the recognition that she deserves. That's not what we didn't want uh, to appal, not, it's not that we didn't want to applaud her. Is that we're all caught off guard with the way, the way we must have forgotten as we appalled. Yuri appa uh, applauded. Yuri uh, holds the poem to her chest and rushes into her seat. Sorry, guys, I'm rushing. Yuri, that was really good. Thanks for your sharing. Look, looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. So Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. <laughs> so Yuri, it's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think ink of it when you're reciting your people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself, like in front of a mirror or your own head. It's your poem, so I'll come out of the best way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Zoe begins her poem. Somehow I feel like her soft voice has made, made a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly a cheery like Siori is. It's serene and bittersweet. And if I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think of it much. But to hear it come out of Siori's voice about almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe it's just this is what Siori meant when she said she likes my said she likes my poems. It's like I get to get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Siori finishes and we applaud. I did it. Good job, Siori. <laughs> even Power Milk liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Siori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. I, I did it, it <clears throat> but I, but it, uh, but it m might be the, that other poems wouldn't work quite as well as the kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where they weren't gentle delivery, they wouldn't work as well. I might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. Well, I might be practicing that kind of, might be practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. We don't ha have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Okay. Who, now, who's next? Natsuki. Hmm. Don't make me go before. Don't make me go before powder milk. I don't, it's not like I can compare it to you guys anyway. Might as well oh, let powder milk lower. I accidentally clicked it, so I didn't finish it. Uh, Natsuki, it's it's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not I like I have much of a selection t of what to read. I just only have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and sit up in front of the podium. Every one of their eyes is making me feel terribly awkward. Oh god, I feel awkward with them all staring at me in real life. I recite the poem, and since I'm not excitedly confident with my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finished, I received applause anyway. Sorry, I didn't really... I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it as much. I think it's a, it's less about your ability, it's more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something I, that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. You see, guys... I'm always nervous when I try to perform things in front of people, but when I give speeches, when I was told to write speeches, I always gave them really nicely. So that's something you need to know. As long as you don't think about it, it really just helps. It really does help. It just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki uh, begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. I'm sorry, guys, I don't speak very well. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because we're... Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they were bouncing up and down as if giving her life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seats. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd uh, better not make me do more than that. Uh, well. Okay, 
before we continue this, I like to make, I told you guys before, I write my own poems sometimes. And when I write, I try to make them rhyme, like Natsuki, but I try to make them more meaningful, like, like Yuri does. And also, I don't share, share Sayori's loving poems, but I do poems differently. A bit, a bit of combination of Monica, no, not Monica, uh, Natsuki, and um, Yuri. Prepare, er, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite this poem in front of other people? I mean, I'm doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can't put it whatever face I want on other people. But it's just, when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's, that's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I won't... I want to thank everyone for coming, though. Might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get an up practice before the festival today. I'll be making pamphlets, so let let me know ahead of time that what would be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm only pleasantly surprised that you're putting all this effort in the club. That makes me a re that this makes me really happy, and uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think it's about, it's about it for the day. I know the festival's coming up, but that's let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I can so I'd like um, to continue that. Sorry, guys, I'm having a bit of trouble. Today uh, we had we were doing some training and I had an MPA in my nose and it really feel I can still feel the loo making my nose feel weird. Don't ask what I'm talking about. It's just really unpleasant. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll all have a weekend to prepare. Okay, Monday is the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm Siori and Monica, but I, I'll do my best to get up through it. If it's like, if this is for the sake of the club, I'm I'm impressing Monica, and then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Siori? Yep. Look at you two. You're always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make it such a big deal out of it. It must be nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Powder Milk. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Siori, with Siori once more. Even though it's ri only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Siori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Siori. Hmm? Sorry, I was spa sorry. I was facing out. Oh, no wonder. Uh, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to. I mean, Siori fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day y Yuri asked to walk home with you. Hmm? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me in a spot here. <laughs> oh shit! I have to save here. Mm. Walk home with Yuri, huh? Why does that thought of it make, make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so. Isn't that so beautiful and. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what we just said. Ha, huh, you admit it. Jeez. There's not even any point of speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But it's just like you uh, <clears throat> like to think about it. It's not like. See, this is what I'm talking about. Friends ship other friends! Uh, it's not like I'm for you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Siori. I can't figure out what you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in this club is a replacement for you. Hmm? If you say so, the conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it's kind of my fault for tra her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if she there's something that makes her happy, I would ha hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Well, okay. I'm just gonna write this poem. Essence. Erase. Okay. Um, embrace. Variance. 
Wonderful. Melancholy. Philosoph. Vibrant. Huh. Extraordinary. Um. Uncanny. Unrestrained. Uh. Secretive. Doki Doki! Huh. Masquerade. Crimson. And. Pleasure. Uh. Lust. Um. After image. Last one. Why am I having YouTube YouTube things? Disarray. Aw, oh, man. The last one here. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were we were practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot out of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that at the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I must... And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out, out in the festival, too. <laughs> I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part, our part in the festival. But the whole day of our school is where we're going to play and eat and kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do you really usually ha have a fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Aren't you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Uh, I didn't say I didn't. I don't like it. Besides, you, do you mean all, you all by you all of people? Because it's right in your name. Manika. Manika. Eh? That's not what you're, how you say hey, my name at all. Also, that's joke makes no sense in translation. Eh? Uh, never mind. Let's just, uh, focus on your uh, own event for now. Eh? Uh, okay. Fine, fine. This is making me suspicious. What is with Monica t I'm sorry, uh, Natsuki today? I'm always suspicious and I'm always paranoid, so don't judge me on that. Your reactions are, aren't as fun as your Uri's and Siori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Siori anyway? Oh, there you are. Siori is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room looking down at for nothing. I walked over to her. Hey, Siori. Oh no. I waved my hand in front of her face. Hey? You're spacing out again. Ah. Eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go oh, talk with everyone else. Uh huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Uh, why wouldn't I be? You feel like you're a little lost. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worried so who much about me. I'm fine, see? Zoe shows me a big smile. I feel that that's fake. Is this about what I said earlier? Huh. So, let me check the game files more. I want to check the game files more. The numbers are still the same on the things. Huh. But it seems that the dates are modified more. I've noticed something, that the dates are modified based on the time I've messed with that character. Like, hold on. DD, uh, contents, resources. Okay, that's just icon. Game itself. Okay, it shows my save folder. Okay, Singington. Looking at the names. Uh, lib. Okay, that's something else. Uh, let's play. Angle. Arguments. Arguments. At. Boot, bootstrap. Bootstrap. Character. Color. Cur curry. I'm looking at these names. Error. Main. Main. What the hell is all this stuff? I'm just reading all this stuff, guys, and it's just a bunch of random file names. Um, what is log? I can't click on it. But well, anyway, I'm gonna get back to this, because I don't feel that... I mean, don't, uh, let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Oh, well, alright. If you say so. I worry glance at Siori before turning back towards everyone else. The conversation was already dispersed and everyone went back to their usual activities. Maybe I should t ask Monica if she no noticed anything about Siori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, it must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers on her desk. Powder milk, what's up? Hey, it might, it might sound a little strange, but have you noticed something up with Siori lately? Recently? Anything up with her? I... In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across from the room from Siori, who idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking. I'm not the one asking y you, Powder Milk. 
You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that, that bother her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I don't know... Oh, it's not... I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to a ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. And maybe I'll try talking to her some myself. Hey, are you sure about that? She seems a lot like she wants to be left alone. Are you sure? Or maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the, with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Powdered Milk. And you're fucking with me again. It's pretty obvious that all these fucking characters have a crush on the main character. Me? How on earth do you... Would that come to your conclusion? Well, you probably shouldn't say too much, but Siori talks about you more than anything else you know. Eh? She's been much more happier ever since you joined the club. And it's like extra light has turned on inside of her. What? No way! Siori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine, and that's not any different now than it had always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Powdered Milk. Have you ever thought of maybe you are always seen her as so cheerful because she's just n that's that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh, I said too much. Okay, okay, that's how it is. That's how it is. Light bulb. Okay, this is getting fucking ridiculous. Quit being around the bush. I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget what I said. Ed. I'll try to talk to her, so I keep hitting the mic. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I, w I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands over her desk and walks across the room to where Siori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Siori and gently talk to her, but she keeps her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself. I know Siori told me not to worry about her, and I have to, to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Everyone, how much do I care about her and is letting this weigh on me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering over me if I'm over the, her book. She looks away just as quickly as with a flustered look on her face. Of course, because you also have a crush on me. <sighs> I realize that she won't even get away anywhere ever like this. And I never really seen Yuri approach anyone and start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, this is a little easier for me to do. I stand up on my desk and sit at one and next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, she didn't even, even do anything. But I couldn't tell that, that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell I was thinking like that? Well, it's something, it's something that I do a lot. So I wasn't hard for me to spot uh, based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I, I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any way, I guess you were right. Everyone does that every so often. Everyone be, I want to be a little creepy. Yet again, being creepy used to be my thing. Yeah. I, I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles only concern those who are willing to share that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping it to themselves. But if you prefer to share that on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not uh, uh, that big of a deal. I just feel a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little more a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? So sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want to be misunderstood. Sorry, and I had just been friends for a long time, that's all. And I see. Then perhaps it isn't unusual for her to dismissively to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading it a little too much. Powdered milk? The, wor the world is full of meaning and often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there is many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah, uh, so 
So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Sayuri is just a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside may always match the way you're going on inside her head, and she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behaviors today, too. I also feel there's some concern for her. But in that case, it looks like she was fully occupying her thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori? She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. But I don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. She expression is gentle and curious and if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mis mysteries are untold, even to themselves. Even And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware error were in you. That That is... I think that she was a very unfortunate person to have you, even if the way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So, I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh-huh. That's not a compliment, is it? It, it is what it is. Anyway, as long as you were, were here, we don't... Oh, <clears throat> can't English! Why don't we do some reading? Well, as well as we're, you're okay with it, yeah, I should be uh, taking my mind off this whole thing in, in any way. Okay, everyone. After some p time passed, Monica calls up the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye, -eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder if she it was something to talk about Sayori. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to have to cut off before we do the poems. I'm sorry, guys, but this is what I have to do. And I'm going to have to save right here. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye!